All right, so this is Annie. Uh, we're just gonna talk about our goals from eight to 12 weeks. She just turned 13 weeks. So the things that I wanted her to do, she's all doing. Our goals are to have this dog to like being around us, to like being held by us, uh, to be calm when they're in our arms, right? And so that's our first goal. Dog to like being around us, be calm in our arms. And we've done this by holding the dog in different, um, different environments with kids playing on the ground. Uh, when you go to a friend's house and you're bringing the pup, you're holding the pup while it's inside so they're not jumping on little kids or getting into stuff or peeing on the floor, right? So, I that's my first goal. I want the dog to like being around us and like being holded by me, right? Second goal, I want the dog to uh, be uh, calm in the crate where it's not whining and uh, blowing through the door. So we showed you guys how to get that way with the colt, uh, with colt the other little puppy. Um, so I want to make sure that's happened. So it's calm in the crate, it's not whining in the crate, uh, and I also want to make sure that they're not having accidents in the crate. So I have a specific schedule, and I've stuck to it. Now the dog is not having accidents. This dog hasn't had an accident since it was uh, since the first two days in my first two days in my house. All right, um, because we kept true to our program, to true to how quick I'm going to let them out and all that stuff and limited their water. If she starts wiggling, do this. Simple as that, good girl, good girl, good girl. Praise comes after when she calms down, right? So, I'm putting this over here so she doesn't chew on it. I wanna make sure the puppy is not biting my hands. If she does, uh-uh. So, the pup was continuously over and over again just biting at your hands and trying to bite your hands. Just thumb on the tongue or grab the scruff, uh-uh, while she's holding. The other thing that we're going to work on that we I want to have is a pretty solid retrieve. I want to at least be able to get, um, you know, two or three solid straight out, straight back in retrieves by 12 weeks old uh, with a puppy. Now, if you can't, don't worry about it. It will come if you chose the breeding right. Now, if you just tried to play hocus pocus, let me figure out any mini miny mo on a litter and didn't do your research. You may be in for it. The dog may not like to retreat. Um, and so that, that may be you. But if you've done your research, proven bloodlines, and you've done the things that I talked about in my puppy picking thing, the dog should have good retrieve drive. Um, so I want the dog to go straight out, straight back in. The, only, the other thing uh, is when I'm outside, I want the dog to want to chase me. I want it to want to come back. The other thing I want is that when I uh, pip the whistle in the recall trill, the I want the dog to blaze coming back to me. So I'll show that real quick, we'll demonstrate. So, hey, good job, all right, all right. Hey, good girl. So we'll get her going away from me real quick. So, little short play session. She came right as I, I trilled the whistle. I went pip, 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 pip. So, retrieving. This is what I want it to look like or what I would desire it to look like. It may not be this fast for your pup. It may not be this far for your pup. But as long as the pup is going out and getting it and coming back, I'm happy. Uh, Annie. Annie. Good girl, good girl. Hey. Good girl. Yeah. Good job. Right. Annie. Oh my goodness. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hey. Annie. Good. Got distracted by my seat behind the camera. That's fine. Um, so two to three throws that she's doing really good straight out, straight back in. Those are my goals for this dog. It's all I want at 12 weeks. I don't want to do any food work. I don't want to do any, any treat training. The only food work that they get is the bowl of food into the crate at this point. Um, that is going to be very important later on into the training program. That's going to help us with place training. That's going to help us with uh, every part of our training that, that getting the crate down solid so don't skip on on that because you don't like your dog whining in the crate or you think it's mean dogs need to be crated it is a necessity so yeah she had to poop 
So that makes sense right there. Uh, she's over here squatting in the side corner. But make sure your dog is crated. Make sure your dog is calm because if you don't crate your dog, what's going to happen when you go hunting and you take put the dog in the back of the truck? The dog's going to be whining like crazy in the back of the thing because it doesn't know how to be calm away from you. It's going to have separation anxiety. It's not going to know how to deal. And so with being alone and being away from you, so I make sure that my dogs are in the crate um, and make sure that they're good with the crate early on. So those are our goals. Uh, so again, I'll reiterate them. Dog loves to be with you and likes being held by you. Isn't biting on your fingers constantly because you've done the things that I've told you to do with that. Uh, is crate trained uh, in, to, in a sense of that it's not peeing or pooping in the crate and that it doesn't blow out the door when you open it. All right. Uh, is um, is not whining incessantly in the crate. Um, the other thing is that it's retrieving at least two to three times straight out, straight back in with little difficulty unless something, you know, is going on, something distracting like my chair in the back of there that she hasn't seen or her having to poop. Um, those are all things that are reasonable. Um, uh, one tip that I think I forgot to mention is make sure that your yard is picked up. Make sure you clean the poop or you make sure that the, the puppy poops in one section of the yard because if you play fetch where your pup is pooping, a lot of times they won't pick it up. I just remembered that. It's something I forget half of what I know. Um, the other thing is that I want the dog to be able to recall to the whistle very consistently. Now, I'm not doing this all the time, but when I do it, I expect the dog to come unless there's extenuating circumstances. But the thing is, is I control every aspect of this dog's life so those situations aren't there uh, i'm not putting the dog in situations where they have a reason to not want to come to me right and i'm not doing it so much that they get bored of it um and those are my goals for this dog that's my goals for eight to twelve weeks that's what i want to accomplish uh, and so i hope that you guys will take this you will be consistent and you can accomplish those goals yourselves uh, and have a pup that is uh, rock solid uh, and ready to go. Um, the only other thing that I have done uh, in this 8 to 12 weeks that you guys probably haven't seen is I had a, um, I, basically I've taken the pup to hunt tests and different stuff and then I shoot out here while the pup is inside my house. So basically this pup has heard gunshots but they've been like 200 yards away while they're inside in a crate. So it's very muffled down, but this dog is getting gunshots around them, but it's while they're in the crate and they're away. And that's something that you don't have to do, but that is something that is happening with this pup right here. So I don't want to get later on and you'd be like, well, why didn't your dog react at all when gunfire was shot when, uh, you know, the first time and mine's freaking out. Well, my dogs hear gunshots all the time, almost every day because my house is, you know, 150 yards over that way and they're at my house and I'm firing out in this field. So that is one thing that you guys may need to work into your sessions. If you haven't done that for eight to 12 weeks, don't worry about it. You can get it throughout the next few weeks, but uh, make sure they're in their crate, that they're somewhere away, far, far away when this stuff is going on. I mean, just go out, leave the dog inside, go outside, uh, walk a good bit away from your house and shoot a little bit. Um, you know, different stuff that that helps, you know, or just make loud noises in the house, you know, those type of things. But other than that, those are the goals, uh, eight to 12 weeks. We'll get on to 13 to 16 weeks. Um, and then from 16 week mark, we'll start going two months. So we'll go basically five and six months. We'll, we'll have goals for the for a two month long thing. All right.